Understand this. There was once an alliance of four great races in the galaxy. The Asgard, the Nox, the Furlings, and the Ancients, the builders of the Stargates. The alliance was built over many millennia. Your race has much to prove before we may interact on that level. We've done this. We do this every day. I'm not talking about briefings in general, Daniel. I'm talking about this briefing. I'm talking about this day. Colonel O'Neill is correct. Events do appear to be repeating themselves. Since when? Since we went to P4X639. We haven't been to P4X639. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. That's what you were going to say. Of course, that's what I was going to say. OK, bad example. Well, I'm not quite sure what to make of this. If we've had this meeting before, sir... Why are Teal'c and I the only ones who remember it? I know, that's what you said last time. Well, I'll venture a guess. It has something to do with that plan. A. B. N. It's Headphone Steel! And welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing a bonus episode of a show that's probably my favorite sci fi show of all time. And I am doing this review just because in a Facebook group I'm on, it came up as far as my favorite episodes of SG1 Go. Um, so my favorite, of course, is from season two, titled The Fifth Race. It gives us the introduction to the Asgard and begun, begins the show's exploration as on the universe at large. So it becomes more than just the humans and the ghouls. Um, they like so early on, I think in the first season, they introduced the Nox, but they do start uh, elaborating on. Um, other races like the Asgard and the Ancients, uh, the alliance that they had, and the general cultural and political climate of the universe at large. So um, the reason I like it in general is, um, uh, first of all, for that, but also because we have um, O'Neill in a situation that's out of his control. He does have the knowledge of the Ancients downloaded into his brain, and um, he is subconsciously able to use that to um, generate a wormhole to an Asgard planet to get it out of his mind, but it probably also um, starts the, or probably my favorite relationship in the show between the Asgard and Colonel O'Neill in that um, he has that special relationship with Thor and how the Asgard know that they, that he's not the ideal can uh, human to represent the planet or the, to represent earth as a whole but he is the best choice for, at the moment so even though you have you know people like senator kinsey trying to undermine him and then you have the um russians and the chinese and the various other governments having their qualms about the u.s government running and operating the stargate program by having the asgard acknowledge that colonel o'neill is their preferred choice for negotiations um makes it all the better and he handles it in the way he handles it best as far as um acting like things are out of his control but he does understand more than he lets on so this episode is for me is a notable start to all of that and gr not to say that the rest of the episodes in the first two seasons are any less or better than this one but it takes a show in a new direction and becomes more than just the humans fighting against the Gould and a singular enemy to fight against and defeat. So while they do expand on the Gould as far as the various system lords, they do expand it upon there being other races of beings in the galaxy. Now as far as my second favorite episode of note, and it's more of a singular episode than anything else. So while there are other good episodes throughout the series, um, and of course, like I like um, interactions between Colonel O'Neill and Master Braytac. I like the whole idea of the Jaffa uprising, um, Sa uh, Sam and her relationship with the replicators and all of that. The season four episode window of opportunity is probably my favorite episode or my second favorite episode because it's probably the better of the one off episodes. 
Um, so in it we have um, Colonel O'Neill again and then Teal stuck in a time loop because a scientist on a planet is trying to activate a time distortion field um, via a solar flare and they have and um, basically the SGC has to rely on them learning various languages through Daniel, understanding various um, scientific stuff through um, Sam in order to not have to um, re repeat the same scenarios over and over and jump right to learning stuff in order to um, undo the time loop or the time machine. So all in all a good thing and I do like that once it's undone they bring up the fact and they do tie it out as far as the whole time loop thing lasting about three months and that the Tokra were trying to reach out to them. So. I like that little bit of touch. They could have missed it. Or they could have been an oversight, but they do bring that up. And um, in general, I like it because it's one of those things where there are a number of one-offs, like the I want to say Wormhole Extreme episode, which I didn't like. I think there were a couple of those, and then just a, just a random other um, episode. The one-off episodes don't really stand out aside from this one. Um, and I do like um, Colonel O'Neill like with his whole losing it and uh, drawing the smiley face with the ketchup and mustard um, the guy who slams the door in Teal's face uh, Teal uh, switches up on him and you kind of get all the little nuances that this is going to be a one-off episode but um, it's handled probably better than most of the other one-off episodes so it stands out as something that I continually like so that's all there is for this particular review. I just wanted to, or since those the episodes came up in that uh, Facebook group that I'm in in a simple thread, I decided to rewatch the episodes and see how they are and see how they ultimately um, hold up as far as uh, watching them now all these years later. So that's all there is for this particular episode. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode and being a supporter of the show, and until next time.